tonight. Trash, rodents, and squatters no more. KXOI4 first brought you this story two weeks ago. An abandoned home with squatters that left neighbors furious. Well, KXOI4 is Katie Curry working for you with why they can sleep a little easier tonight. Katie, that house is in a lot better condition than your first report. Nadine, it was a two-year battle neighbors had been fighting, and it seemed as though there was no end in sight. Well, last Friday, the city was finally able to clean up the yard, making longtime neighbors very happy. Happy. This Northwest Spokane neighborhood has been home to some residents since the houses were brand new and Francis wasn't more than a dirt road. This was the first house we moved into after we got married in 1955 and that was 59 years ago and it was a lovely neighborhood. Maureen didn't want to go on camera, but says in the past two years living next to this abandoned home was next to unbearable. From being woken up at all hours of the night, having her water stolen, and finding drug paraphernalia in her yard. They didn't take care of their property or their animals, or but the garbage was really bad, and it was piled out right outside my dining room window. Thankfully to the city of Spokane and some very persistent neighbors, Maureen's nightmare is over. They finally came and, came and cleaned it up with two dump trucks and a bobcat and code enforcement. And what they fought over for the last four or five months actually took 45 minutes to clean up. The city of Spokane says this case was not a typical trash complaint. In this case, it's in foreclosure as well, so the bank is involved. So there's some additional process that we have to go through to be able to access the property and be able to then clean it up. The city says this is a growing problem. Historically, they deal with half a dozen absentee unresponsive property owners a year. Over the last year, we had more than 40 of these. Neighbors only hope the next owners take better care of the property. I hope uh, that they do fix it up. It, I know they can do it because I've watched HGTV. <laughs> <laughs> well, neighbors say there is still a lot of work to be done, but this oh, is a great start. Don't we all love HGTV, by the way? <laughs> I noticed there was a car in your earlier story uh, on that property, and there still is one. Is that going to be fixed or removed soon? Well, this vehicle, it meets all four requirements to be considered a junk vehicle by mm -hmm. the city, and neighbors say the Spokane Police Department was out today, and they said that car should be gone by the end of the week. Good news for those neighbors. Thanks for that follow-up, Katie.